everybody, it is Baldur's Gate lunch day and I'm so excited and I saw someone ask in chat if drops were on and I, you know, I'm like, you know what, I didn't even think to look for drops for this game, but it would make sense that there would be drops. So let me make sure to have those enabled now. <laughs> Thank you for the heads up on the drops. Uh, let's see if I can find them here in the Twitch drops stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Get get pooped. <laughs> no, get pooped. <laughs> I know you can never see the full. It's either you see get ooped or you see get boopy. <laughs> it's very rare to see the whole thing. Hi, everybody. All right, let me find those drops. Is there a way I can search by game? No. How can I search by game? Let's see. I don't see any Baldur's Gate drops. I just searched for Baldur's Gate and got nothing. Uh, how are people finding that? I know. Yeah, I'm looking for drops. I see nothing. Is there a Twitch integration? That I can do. But yeah, I'm looking right now and I see no. Twitch has no Baldur's Gate drops available that I can see. Oh, the Baldur's Gate Twitch integration's already on? <laughs> Good job, me! <laughs> I must have had it on from early access. Great. All right, well, maybe that's how you do the drops. I don't know. I don't know. You're looking at the drops right now, says Thori. Can you, would you do me a favor and like Google real quick how you turn them on or how you make it so it works or? I don't know. You just got the integration pop up. Okay, good. So the integration's on and working, I guess. I mean, it's been so long since I played the early access that I don't even like, I don't even know. Y'all, I don't even know. Are the drops in the room with me right now? Um, this is an explicit content warning. It asks if I want to show nudity, yes or no. Here's my thing. I'm gonna get the mature rated game warning on these streams regardless because of what the game's rated. Uh, okay, from Larian, all you need to do is make sure you've linked your Larian account with your Twitch account, and then opt into drops. Okay, let me just make sure I've done that, but thank you. Let me just, I'm almost positive that those two are already linked, but just in case. Let's see. That's all fine. Connected accounts. Yes, my Twitch account is already connected. Hence the Twitch integration probably working. Okay, so then drops should already be enabled. Great. Good, good. Yes, good, good. Uh, let's see. Here, there's a link of where to actually enable the drops if you need it. Is it other than, yeah, I mean, if you could Discord it to me, that would be great. Oh, and there's Bork sound? All right. It's it's going to be that kind of day. I can just tell. It's like, Trisha, are you excited to play a game? Oh, and here, we definitely don't need the... Uh, whoop! That's on. That doesn't need to be on. All right. Thank you, Thorid. You're the best.
Uh, okay, campaigns, it's under BG3. Oh, it's under BG3. Okay. PUBG is the only BG I have in drops on my Twitch. Yeah, I see no BG3. Let's see. Okay, let me look at that link you just sent, Thorid. And of course, my mouse just froze for some reason. Did it die? It died. Oh, didn't I tell you it was going to be that kind of day? Trisha's excited to play a game. Let's make it everything difficult. And I can't see chat right now until I get my mouse back up. So I'm sure a lot of you are probably like, this is why I use wired mice, Trisha. Hold on. There we go. Mouse plugged back in. Give me my mouse back. Um, okay, okay. Uh, no, no. Okay, my Larian and Twitch accounts are already linked. How do I get Twitch drops on my channel? All you need to do is make sure you've linked your Larian account with your Twitch account and then opt into drops here. Okay, it says to opt in on the drop page, but for whatever reason, I don't have them on my drop page. What? That's so mean. How do other people have them, but I don't? Uh, is it like not for my area or something? I don't know. That is unjust. I see. Uh, thank you for sending me a screenshot of where it shows drops for you. I, do, I can, uh, that, I don't have that. I don't know why. Oh, wait, wait. Uh. Uh. Okay, wait. I found it in that page, and then the page just said, again, it just reaffirmed, make sure that. Your stream category or your stream manager is set to Baldur's Gate 3 and that you have them linked. Click on refresh after you connect the accounts. I mean, I guess I could try disconnecting them and then connecting them again. But you guys said the Twitch integration's on, right? I'm going to disconnect it and then connect it again. Okay, I disconnected it and connected it again. Okay, now it says connected. All right, so officially drops should be on now. I disconnected it and connected it, and then it said it was good. All right. Thank you, everybody, for helping me troubleshoot that. I hope the sound is no longer borked. Uh, what did we decide? Are we nudity-ing today, yes or no? Let me know. Okay, you see drops now. Great. That's so funky pants that it did that. And But I will put now in the title. Mr. New York to Cali, welcome back. Adbread says no nude. It's two hours, apparently, DM Stretch. You're supposed to watch for two hours to get the drops. 
Rate it BG-13. All right, let's see. Uh, 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 here, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Nudie or no nudie? Yes, nudie. No, nudie. I'm an adult, y'all. <laughs> okay, two-minute nudie poll. <laughs> Live now. <laughs> At the top of chat. I will be in character creation most of today's stream anyway. Um, and uh, it's telling everyone who comes into my stream that this stream's for mature audiences only anyway. So kind of just to like stick it to Twitch for telling everybody it's for mature audiences only. I feel like maybe we should go full nudie. Asking me important questions, yeah. <laughs> also, just to warn everybody, uh, at some point today I'm going to have to do a BRB to help out my good friend Lasercorn, because Lasercorn was going to play this with me today. We had big plans to stream this today, and poor dude's CPU died. No! Um, so I'm hooking him up with a loner when he gets here. But when he gets here, I want to walk him through some stuff before that happens. So, I know, poor Lasercorn. And, like, for someone like Lasercorn, like, he's constantly making and editing content and trying to stream. And, like, you need your PC. His CPU. Yeah, his CPU died. Sad face. And he was like, I'm trying to get everything loaded on my backup PC, but I'm having big problems. And I was like, dude, do you need a loaner? Because I keep... I also keep a backup PC uh, because when you do what we do for a living, it's very important. I keep a backup PC just in case something like that happens and I need to swap one out real quick. So I'm like, dude, take my backup for a little bit. I mean, what kind of nudie are we talking? I don't know, Al. I don't know. Irritable, I wish I had several backup PCs. <laughs> All right, looks like our poll... 83% of folks voting nudie. Yes, nudie. All right, we're going yes, nudie. If it gets too bad, I can always switch off the screen. Uh, gamma correction. Let's see. That all looks very good. Oh, it looks so pretty so far. I'm excited to play this once and for all. I have now played the beginning of this game so many times. So I was going to do a, start a multiplayer run today, but instead I'll do single. Let's see. Online visibility to friends only sounds good. Um, oh, look. Show genitals. I'm going to take, I'm going to take show genitals off. Uh, doesn't affect your adventure or access to romance options. I mean, if there's like sexy time, that's fine. But maybe I don't know that I just want like a full crotch shot. <laughs> yes? Ah, okay. Uh, let me hook up, uh, uh, let me hook up Dave with a loner and I will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Hello. Uh, Murphy is lurking somewhere today and that is my only backup PC, but that's okay. He thinks he only needs it for one day or two, so we're good. Um, all right. Here we go. And Dave was like, how's the game? And I was like, uh, so far we've just discussed whether or not we're showing genitals. So that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Show private mo uh, moments. Ooh. That's more for multiplayer. Keybinds, let's just go to video. This is all right. Overall preset ultra, baby. You know that makes me so happy. All right, we should be good. Uh, accessibility, if they have subtitles, I will show them here. Show subtitles. Okay, great. It's already on. We're awesome sauce. Let's do this. Um, I want a balanced experience, yes. Now, before, nope, you're going to allow access. Thank you. 
One of my gripes with Baldur's Gate 3 and early access was that it didn't benefit anyone to play a stealth class because stealth was really awkward. I don't know if it's still going to be that way in the full release. So let's see. Oh, I love this so much. so gross because I know what he's going to do with it. Ugh, I'm sorry. Ugh, gross. Our turn next. Are you excited? <laughs> since I played, so we'll keep them up even if we run through them pretty fast. All right. Let's make our character. So we could choose from one of the origin characters or we could create our own custom character. We are very obviously going to create our own custom character. Custom. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see, hold on, wait, no, resume, hold on. Edit character. Elf, tiefling, drow, human, halfling, half elf, dwarf, githyanki, gnome, dragonborn, or half orc. What do we want to play as? Let's see, if I go gnome, I have a racial speed and gnome cunning, advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. I like that. Let's look at halfling. Again, base racial speed. When you roll one for an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you can re-roll the die and must use the new roll. Oh, I love the lucky though. You have advantage on saving throws against being frightened. So halflings are very brave. I dig that. Civil militia, dark vision, and fey ancestry. What do we get if we're drow? Drow weapon training, superior dark vision, and fey ancestry. Tiefling, we've got dark vision and hellish resistance. This is what I played in Early Access. I was a tiefling in Early Access, I believe. I'm not going to name her Ginger Vitus. What if we're a half-orc? Dark Vision, Relentless Endurance, and Savage Attacks. Oh man, Savage Attacks are pretty rad. I wonder, can we try to make her a super hot half orc. Do you think that's a thing? <laughs> All right, I'm between trying to make a super hot half orc and going halfling. Yeah, I like halfling better than gnome. Half halfling or half orc? Bartleby Prime says a barbarian half orc named Shish happens. Dude. I love that. I love that. That's really funny. Let's see. 
Lightfoot Halfling or Strongheart Halfling. Strongheart Resilience, saving throws against poison and resistance to poison. Light, uh, you have advantage on stealth checks. I mean, stealth is so, st it was at least before not great in this game. Here, if we go half orc, so that, yeah, there's no sub race if I go half orc. Super hot half orc. I guess that depends on how much you like large teeth. I mean, I think that's what we're gonna go. Just because last time I played this, I tried to go all like dark magey. Barbarian would be great. Rage, unarmored defense. Uh, let's see. What if I went fighter? Ooh, love it. Second wind. 2 to 11 healing. Draw on your stamina to heal yourself as a bonus action. We can also go cleric. Oh man, lots of cantrips right up front. Lots of spells, class features. Uh, we could go. Uh, I'm playing a paladin in my uh, off camera game right now. We could go warlock. Warlock is what I played before. I think I was a tiefling warlock in early access. Uh, while raging, you're stronger. You deal two extra damage with melee and improvised weapons. And when throwing objects, he rage for 10 turns. Uh, I don't know if this music is all throughout. Let's see. Hold on. Before we decide, let's see if we can make a super hot half hour. <laughs> that's, that's why. I mean the teeth are <laughs> the, teeth, the teeth are tough. They're <laughs> yeah, the teeth the teeth are rough. <laughs> I mean she's beautiful. What other, oh, these are all my orcish colors. Maybe like a, mm. no scar, well, scar, no, no scarring. Maturity, was that just add wrinkles? Yeah, freckle quantity, cute. Uh, what about if we added a lot of makeup? Like lots and lots of makeup. <laughs> I don't think this is helping. <laughs> and like real red lips. Oh, yeah. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> She's so beautiful. No, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> With like the cute little... <laughs> I can't do it. This is great, but I can't. I can't. No. No. Hold on. No. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go halfling. <laughs> I'm gonna go strong heart halfling. I don't think I want her to be a barbarian. I don't know if I want her to be a barbarian. You bud. So funny. 
Ranger. Oh, I love wizard. That's so cool. Sorcerers are great too. Yeah, rogue. I don't know about playing a rogue or a ranger. Only because of my experience in early access. Like sneak attack. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh Eldritch Blast and Blade Ward are fine. What do we have here? Firebolt, Mage Hand, and Ray of Frost. See, and like, I just don't know how useful Mage Hand is going to be in a game like this. Uh. You know what? We're going Fighter. What's our fighting style gonna be? Defense, archery, dueling, great weapon fighting. It, she's like super tiny, but with a huge weapon. Let's see, protection. Great weapon fighting when you roll a one or a two on a damage die for an attack with a two-handed melee weapon, that die is re-rolled once. Ooh, I kinda like that. Although ranged weapon attacks are nice too. Um, protection or two weapon fighting. Uh, let, let's do great weapon fighting. I like the idea of like a tiny human with a huge weapon. Well, not a tiny human, a tiny halfling with a massive weapon. I like that. Initiative, your initiative, okay. Initiative is good. Strength is my highest stat. As of right now. Our charisma is not good, though. Why can't our charisma be better? Can I fix that? Uh, yeah, I'll fix that in a second. Um, background. What should she be? A folk hero, a sage, a soldier, an urchin, a noble. Not a noble. Charlatan. Uh, deception, sleight of hand, entertainer, acrobatics and performance. I think I like that idea. Animal handling and survivor, nah, guild artisan, insight and persuasion is good. Your skill in a particular craft has earned you membership in a mercantile guild. Yeah, maybe I make jewelry. I like jewelry. I mean, that makes more sense generally for a dwarf, but... Entertainer could be a streamer. She's actually a streamer. She's a Twitch streamer. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Now abilities. We got to pump up that. Assign plus two. Bonus plus one. Mm. No, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there and then... Wait, I can't, I can't up it? Oh, unless I downplay some other stuff. Ooh. But strength is my primary ability. I need to make my charisma better. I want to be able to like talk my way out of situations. Although constitution is gonna be nice too. You know what? Coffee Kempo says higher charisma. I'm like, maybe she's just real bad at talking, which doesn't make sense if she's an entertainer. Let me scrape. Fighter doesn't need as much intelligence, maybe, or wisdom. Uh, yeah. I also am going to scrape a little dexterity off of her. Because if I have that there, it's still plus one either way. So it's not messing with my modifier. Plus zero, plus zero. Minus one to intelligence checks. Strength is plus three to strength checks. If I take it down, it's still plus three. Yeah, that's... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Dexterity plus one. Pl nope, so we'll keep that there. Constitution is still plus two if I take one point off of Constitution. And put that there. 
All right, how do we feel about that? She sings at rodeos on weekends. Uh, minus one to intelligence checks is not great. <laughs> uh, that's still plus zero. Okay, so then it's zero, zero, plus one. Plus two to constitution, plus one to dexterity, and plus three to strength. All right, I feel good with that. We've got athletics, acrobatics, intimidation, and performance. Okay. Uh, you may customize your skill proficiencies in the list below. If you're proficient in a skill, you add a bonus to those uh, skill checks. So let's see. Do I want... I don't want... I do, I do want... I think I want insight instead of... In, well, intimidation's good too, though. Not... Maybe... I think I want insight and intimidation. Although perception, maybe perception instead of insight. Yeah, I want her intimidating the talls too. I'm there for that. And I feel like insight and intimidation go hand in hand. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all fine. Oh, I do have one more ability point to spend. Charisma plus one. It's still only plus one if I up it there. Um, what if I... That's still only plus one. Constitution can't go above 14. Interesting. Intelligence is still zero, zero. And I can't take my strength up anymore. You know what? I'm going to put it in charisma. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta edit our appearance. Head one, head two. Oh, I love the faces. I love the design of the faces. They're so good. She's so cute. She always wants uppies. It's her only weakness. I kinda like, I kinda like this one. Oh, what, what did we start with? That one? They're both good. I don't know. This is good. Let's listen to, uh, voices. Where to next? Hmm. Well, Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. I kind of like voice eight. Hells. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's... Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest. Where to? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Yeah, I like voice eight. Hells. It's got a little playfulness to Something it. Something just woke up down here. I like the skin tone we have. That's gonna be way too pale. Uh, I kind of like the like purpley tone to that. That's interesting. Warm tones. What? It, that's what we started with. I kind of like that. Warm tone eight. Pallid tone. I don't want that. I kind of actually like that. Blush tone. Let's zoom out. Blush tone six. Pallid tone looks a little sickly. I don't know that I love that. I'm gonna back out again. Mm. I'm 
just clicking around. Don't mind me. All right, we're going to go with Cool Tone 5, I think. Cool Tone 6? No, Cool Tone 5. I just need to change your hair color. That's what's throwing me off right now. Okay, does she need a scar? Rough. Ma'am. Ma'am. She is a fighter, so like a scar would make sense. No, I'm gonna say no scars. No scars. Arden Henry, welcome back. There are so many choices. Do I want her to be a little more aged? Or maybe like somewhere in the middle? Yeah, I like that. Somewhere in the middle. She's seen some stuff. She's not a young young chicky she's seen some stuff but she's not like older yet freckles no no freckles uh vitiligo pigmentation whoa i didn't know you could do that that's cool okay body art oh that's kind of neat we get little tattoos Oh, love it. Way into the tats. Good. Oh, the neck tat's cool. Man, there are so many options. Look at that. Uh, I think we're gonna go with neck flower tat. The other option I liked was birds. What do you think? Birds or neck flower tat? What do we like? Burbs? Not yet played says burbs. Okay. Burbs it is. <laughs> now we could make the tattoo color something else. Uh, but I, I kind of like the black. But let's see... Dark green, a white tattoo. Nah, I like the black. Confirm. Piercing style. All right, let's see what we got. Little eyebrow piercing. Fancy earrings. Here, let me look at the ears. Midnight tears. I have returned. Oh, silver gold gala. I think, I think this chick rocks some piercings. Dark moons. Oh, with the little moon above the eyebrow. That's cool. I like dark moons a lot. It's just a little red stud. Snake. Ah, she does love her swords and her big weapons. Fangs. Minotaur ring. Easy breezy. Some swirls. Commoner ring. Bard rings. Or none. All right. Fasten. Nah, nah. Silver Gold Gala, I think, was my favorite so far. I like that a lot. Okay, that's what we're going with for body art. Eyes. Uh, we'll just have... We won't have two different eye color. Ooh, I kind of like that bright blue. I was going to go purple because I feel like in fantasy settings, purple eyes is really fun. Pink eyes, teal eyes. I don't know, I really like those blue. But maybe that's just because it like matches what she's wearing so well. Yeah, we're gonna go with, I like that, blue seven. That's cool. Makeup. All right, 
right now. Oh, I kind of like that on her. She is a fighter. Kind of like that, but let's see what else we have. That's pretty. This is kind of a little smoky eye. Underneath. Okay, that's a smoky eye. That's a smoky eye. This is like a smoky eye with a wing. I don't know. I kind of like a smoky eye without the wing. That's pretty. A little wing, a little lash. Let's go with this. I feel like that's subtle, but pretty. Uh, lip tint. We're currently at red one. Oh, metallic lips is neat. Yeah, metallic lips is cool. Can we do her lip color intensity? Maybe like a blue lip. That's kind of neat. Like a bluey purple lip. All right, I'm into that. Lip tints like a gray purple. All right, moving on to hair. Now, the hair color, I definitely want to change. I want something. I mean, the orange is kind of cool. Let's back out a little as we look at the hair colors. I do like the light purple. I feel like we've gone pretty heavy blue with her already, so I don't want to do blue for the hair. Um, do we have like a dark, we don't really have like a dark purple. That's the closest I can get to dark purple and I'm not in love with that. Silver. There's not, in general, there's not a lot of dark hair options. Like that's supposed to be black red and I feel like it just looks gray. That doesn't look black red. Black brown. Like that's black neutral. Well, the white hair is cool. Red five, red one. Red one's what we started with. Mm. The orange was weird. I kind of dig that. Maybe like this dark orange. No RGB ha hair option, unfortunately. No, I don't love that. Well, maybe it's just, let me change the hair style and then see how we feel. Okay, I don't hate that pony. I think I like this pony better than this pony. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. No, I don't feel like many of these suit her face. That one's okay. That's all right. No, I don't like that very much on her. No, I don't like that very much on her either. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Okay, I do like that. That's neat. I also really like that. I feel like that's a good messy, I got caught in a fight hair. Oh, you know what? That's good too. I do, I like that. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, that's kind of nice. This is what we started with. Also fine. Nah, I don't, I don't see her being like a super upbraid, updo kind of chick. Always love a good uh, mohawk. That looks too fancy. Too oh, victory curls. Love them in real life. Don't know that I want them for this character. I do like this messy pony. That's cool. No, no. That's cool, too. The, like, braided pony. 
Man, look at all these. There's so many hairstyles. Because she's short, I feel like the ponytails, like the double pigtails is like too cute. Like I do want her to be like a super badass bee. Mm. Ooh, I like that. That's neato. Let's keep going. I like that a lot, too. Yeah, I think this is going to be the hair I might settle on. Let's, let's just look at some other options. But partial eclipse might end up being my fave. Mm. Braid's okay. That's good too though, that's so classic. The half up, half down, no. I like her like a little bit messy. Gemstone droplet. All right. Oh, long hair on warriors was a sign of bravado. Go on, try and grab it. All right, now let's go back to hair color. Yeah, I wish we could do darker hair. Let me see if I go for... Alright, my thought is... Maybe some, like, white or gray hair, unless... That's the hair color, but you can also do highlights. Oh, there we go. Okay, getting some highlights in there is kind of interesting. And you can also do graying if you want graying. Uh, interesting that the graying can be different colors too. Oh, so that's like the roots. I see. Yeah, no, no graying. Okay, this, I know it says that's raven black, but it does kind of look gray, like a dark gray. And I'm okay with that black with gold highlights. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's neat. I don't know that the highlights need to be that intense though. Here, let's put it back on gold. I mean, I like that in there. I'm not the biggest fan of it in the braid. Black with red. I think I like the black with red. That's cool. Can I make it like a, yeah, like a darker red? All right. I'm kind of into that. No, I like the red seven. Mm, now I'm thinking I really like the red highlights, but now I'm thinking we change the base hair color. Uh, white with red. No, that looks strange. Yeah, I wish we had darker hair color options. Teal with red does not look good. I'm not into that. Yeah, no, it needs to be dark if we're going to do that red. I don't love it. I'm not, I'm not into the hair yet. All right, we're changing the red highlights. Maybe we want no highlights. Maybe we just want to go all... 
Yeah, I don't want to be too cute. Maybe like a dark purple, but like just a hint. But that's the thing. Like, even that purple seven looks real dark on here. It doesn't look really dark on the character for some reason. Like, I, wa I want it to be deeper. I want deeper colors, you know? Uh... Red and yellow, so it looks like ketchup and mustard. Um, let's go with this. It's like a slight highlight. Slight purple highlight. I might try, let's try maybe like a black red, I think maybe looks better with that. Yeah. All right, that's where we'll keep it. That looks fine for hair. Now that we have the hair color figured out, I'm just going to go over hair styles that might work. Bardic inspiration. One more time to see if I like that better. That feels very well quaffed. I mean, she was an entertainer. I do like bardic inspiration. Um, just starting up at the top, I did like the pony as well. Does this make anyone feel differently about the hair choice? Okay, so it's between this uh, mongoose tail or it's between the mongoose tail, the, no, no, no. I think it's between the mongoose tail and let me find the other ones I liked. Oh, that's like a Cruella de Vil look, half and half. That's kind of fun. Mm. No, I don't like the curls. Uh, you know what? It's between Bardic Inspiration, the Mongoose Tail... Yeah, I'm not loving the partial eclipse anymore. Mm. Mongoose? A bunch of people are saying mongoose. Rob likes the Cruella style. What just happened? I don't know. Something just happened. Oh, the new Twitch alerts! Hey, yo! Oh, that was the hydrate reminder. See, now I'm not going to miss these. P.S. I enabled the new Twitch alerts so I wouldn't miss out on that stuff. And it worked out. Thank you. Okay. That's what we're going with. Facial hair. I don't think she's going to have any facial hair. We're, we're good on facial hair. All right. We feel good about our look. Proceed. Enter character name Chris the Brit. Thank you for the stretch reminder. I'm gonna open my door too. Just in case Logan Man needs me. Thank you for that stretch. Mm, okay, this all looks pretty good. I do have second wind. Draw on your stamina to heal yourself. Her character name. Uh, Shish Happens is pretty funny, but uh, I don't think we're going to go with that for right now. I don't know, Rob. It might take us a while to get there. I mean, I've played the beginning of the game before and uh, don't remember it being super bad. So unless they've changed a lot about the beginning of the game, we should be fine today. Um, let's see... What shall we name her? Small Fry? <laughs> but I want her to have like a really intimidating name, you know? Uh, her name shall be... 
short butt, second breakfast. Countess Destruction. <laughs> uh, they don't have a random name generator built in. Shelob is very intimidating. Oh, Arden Henry says mistook. I do love mistook. It'll be weird if they give her a salutation before that. But, oh, we're getting a raid from Good Day Internet. Welcome Raiders! Welcome to the stream. My name is Trisha Hirschberger. I normally work as an on-camera presenter covering tech, video games, and fandom culture. Welcome to my stream. Many of you I may already know from my time guesting on Daily Tech News Show. Folks, uh, thanks so much to Good Day Internet for the raid. They are the home of the Daily Tech News Show. Please go give them a follow if you like getting your tech news in little bite-sized bits. Uh, DTNS says, hi. Thank you, Techno Mensch. Welcome. It is Baldur's Gate 3 launch day. I do have drops enabled, if anyone else is interested. Uh, we're doing, we're just getting to the point of character creation. We've made a strong heart halfling fighter. Uh, and we're just getting to the point in character creation where we are naming our fighter. Oh, bite-sized is good too, Abe. For, in honor of our raid, maybe. But I'd want to make it bite-sized. But still, that, that's not very fantasy. I want to keep it in the fantasy realm, if we can. Uh, a fool of a took, ankle biter, fighty McFight face. Yeah, what do you think? What's she look like? Let's give her a name. I feel like she could be a raven because of the dark hair. Lady gets kneed in the face a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, our funny name that we said was Shish Happens. Maybe we should just go with that. Raven McStabbins. Violet Peck. Ooh, I like Violet Peck. Sorsha. Serafina is cool. Comsa, I do. What do we want? Dragonia is very cool. Oh, Belladonna. In honor of the one and only Belladonna took. Let's do it. I, you know what? Belladonna is good. Belladonna is good. It's our Tolkien reference in the game. Also, we don't know much about Belladonna Took, but I like to believe she was an absolute badass. Belladonna the Strunk? I don't know if it'll let me fit all that in. No. Just Belladonna for right now. Oh, we need a guardian. Choose one. Oh, man. Maybe, uh... We can't choose a dragonborn here. What's a guardian? I don't know. It just says you need a guardian. Choose one. I kind of like this half-orc guardian. She is very cool. Yeah, she's going to be my guardian. I'm not even going to mess. Because I like her just the way she is. It is weird you can't choose Dragonborn for your guardian. Alright, venture forth. Oh, hey there, sir. They just put a big goober in my eyeball. An eyeball goober?
terrifying. These poor people in this city. High classy. Pro tip, hold alt to highlight lootable things in the area. Thank you, Skeleton. Sorry, folks. So terrifying. Don't belly flop that. Okay, there you go. You landed on your dragon, it's fine. It does already have dragon riders, beardtastic. Rough. I mean, that's a way to escape. Are all the Dragon Riders Gith Yankee? Yes, says Skeleton. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Yes, I played early access. I only got about nine, probably 10 hours into the campaign and I started multiple times. So I had about 20 hours into early access, but not like consecutively. Larian Studios is so good. Woo! Starting off with a bang, friends. Yeah, they said everyone had to start over anyway. Exactly. Are we actually starting the game now? Yes. <laughs> okay. My head. Not getting back in that thing. Okay. Press J to view our journal. Find a way off the nautiloid. We've been abducted by mind flayers and infected with some kind of parasite. We need to find a way off this ship. Our map is here. This is the map of your surroundings. That's where we currently are. We cannot fast travel at this very moment. Um, let's see. Whenever we perform an action true to our background, we'll gain experience points and receive inspiration. Um, ooh, interesting. 
so trying to perform in front of people and what's it say preserve art bringing joy okay at the ready someone else got out okay don't go in the fire that would be bad feel better. Okay. So we got a little heal going on there. Now let's see where we can walk up. Seems simple enough. Not everyone made it out alive. Nope. Nursery. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Gross. Reach toward the pool. Investigate the pool. Let's investigate the pool. Um, yeah. Let's click our dice to roll. All right. A success. The what do we see? is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Interesting. Should we reach toward the pool? Uh, no. I think we're just gonna leave. I don't. I don't know. There. Right, well, not the smartest play. I did warrant, but you know, we can heal ourselves right here, so that's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, just curiosity sometimes. Oh, the Mind Flayer. Hello, I will take that amethyst Dead. off your body. Dead. Good. Good. Might be other survivors. Yes, I will take this. Uh huh. Now, someone was saying I could hold shift or control or something like that to see anything lootable in the area. Aha, there it is. Empty, empty. Thank you for that. But not anything interactable, just anything lootable. A brine bowl. Let's look at our map. Okay, I went up here a little. Uh, let's see, it looks like I should be able to go up over there. How do I get up there? Okay, there we go. I'll just let her figure it out. I made it out. Yes, we are, ma'am. Gross. Gro what is that? Onyx, though. Always room for more. Yeah. Give me some onyx. What's this? A rune Visions slate. project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Cool. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. We're not going back down. Not yet. There's more to explore up here. Okay. I think we have a grind bulb. I think we've successfully... Wait, there's a door here or something. The sphincter is a door? <laughs> All right, well. <clears throat> no? 
Oh yeah. Gross. Oh no. This goblin, he won't be needing that money anymore. hear how creepy that is? Sat in the viscous chair. We are trapped. Mind flayer horticulture. Eldritch tablet. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more. Flash behind your eyes. Cool. Release us. Release us, it says. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, these brain jars. Curious. Rose! You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. Who am I talking to, a man or a brain? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Or you sound afraid. Why? Um, who am I talking to? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. So yeah, I failed the arcana save, it said. Um. The enemy. So many enemies. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Um, well, I could inspect the exposed brain, break the skull, gently prize the brain from the skull, destroy the brain, or just leave. Because maybe this isn't my jam. Uh, look at it first. Let's try inspecting. Always try inspecting. All right, barely a success, but a success. You notice a dema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Uh, where's the kill it with fire option? I know. I mean, that's the destroy the brain option, really. Um, will it be my friend if I attempt a cerebral extraction, staying mindful of the swelling? I would have advantage. Let's try it. I've got advantage. All right, two successes. So gross. This is so gross. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. I could mutilate the brain, just in case. No, I'm gonna spare the creature. If I have to take it out later, I will. We are free. 
Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Okay, little buddy. Uh, you guys are asking if I'm using the extension. I thought I was, but let me just see if there's anything else I need to do. Uh, here, oh, enable Twitch. There you go. See if now you can see uh, data on the Twitch extension. Yo, we got a friendo. Uh, what's at the helm? I helped you once, that's all I can do. I'll go not with you. What should I, what should I call you? Us. We are us. Okay, us. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Oh. Newborn is what it's called. So creepy. But, I mean, it does seem to at least have some knowledge of this ship. Or whatever it is. I guess I could open the brain jars if I wanted to. Oh, here, can I loot, can I loot this dude's body? Mm, he's got nothing. Can you head now? Okay. He's also nothing. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. We're going back down, I guess. Bartleby or Ignito? I know, I did I did take his brain. Yeah, I kinda already did loot that body. You're not wrong. Nope, nope, don't go in the fire. Woo! Another fighter. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? Blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Um, okay. What made you think I was a thrall? Who are you? Or we need to figure out where we are. What do you suggest? I'm gonna say, what made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. Well, that's not good. <laughs> um, who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Ma'am. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Yeah, I agree. First, we exterminate the imps. Gross. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Okay. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Okay. She's intense. Yeah, for sure. And she does definitely think highly of herself. Oh, the imps look so gross. Okay, we're doing some combat. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Uh, which is great. So for me... Let's see what we've got. Um, and if I remember correctly, it has them uh, put into action, bonus action, and cantrips. Now, my only cantrip is second wind. If I look at my bonus actions, they are jump, 
shove, second wind, uh, dip. Dip a weapon into a surface to alter the surface or enhance the weapon. If you're dual wielding, you can dip both weapons. Um, pommel strike for an extra 1d4. Make a non-lethal attack against an enemy and possibly daze them. Um, love that. Or a potion of healing. And here are, our, let's just see my cantrips. Uh, get Yankee psionics. Mage. Oh, I'm controlling her now. That's why I was like, wait a second. Um, hamstring shot. What else? What, what does her most damage? Astral knowledge. I could do a ranged attack. Oh, 4 to 13. Slash your target's vital points to make them bleed. Let's try that. 95% chance to hit. There it is. Save failed. One down. Now we get a bonus action if we want it. Not enough movement. Uh, so that's not going to work. Let's do... I don't need to heal myself. I could jump. There it is. And then victory awaits. Sometimes the only way. Alright, let me go to Belladonna. What does Belladonna have here? I could dash a rush attack, charge forward and attack the first enemy in your way, possibly pushing him off balance. Now, yeah, I'm not close enough to do that. Let's do scroll of revivify. Alchemist Fire. I could Alchemist Fire without hurting my friend. Although, I feel like maybe I should hold on to that for the moment. Let's do a dash. Although, that is going to be my main action if I do that. Uh. My guess is the Twitch extension probably just shows you my character stats. Let me know if it does something different. But that, that would be my guess. Improvised melee weapon, dip, shove. Shove is a bonus action, so I could dash and shove. Let's see if that works. Dash. I want to get to this side. I can't get to this side. I want to, like, shove off the... Going in, and then my bonus actions. Pommel strike I could do. Days for a critical hit. Well, it's not going to hit us now. That's kind of nice. And our little friendo. Let's get our little friendo up in here. Not enough movement from friendo. Uh, claws, no. Okay. Friendo's over there. Okay, now I think that's everybody. I will ascend. I could still do... I, yeah, we'll end the turn. That... Bad guy's dazed, so we should be good. It should be us again. Yes, it is. Uh, let's have little friendo take the hit, no? Victory awaits. Here, and I thought I clicked end turn. No? I did click end turn, and he's dazed. Lizelle. Okay, what am I missing? Fusion Ice Phoenix, thank you for the posture check. I needed it. Oh, end turn is every specific character. I see. Can't even catch my breath. So Belladonna ended turn. 
there we go. Oh, I thought he was, uh... Oh, there's another imp up there I didn't even realize. Yikes. All right, let's do our main attack. That imp's down. My turn. I want to show off what, now? what I can do. Main hand attack, rush attack. They're down. Let's loot you this body. Some gold. Now to the helm. Now to the helm. There's only one gold I picked up. Oh no. Okay, good. We have lots of things we can do. Oh, a hand axe. It's also not uh, in like not everybody gets individual loot. It's all uh, party loot. So you do have to decide who gets what. What's inside? Nice. So let's look at our our loot here. Onyx gold. Oh, a keychain. An alchemy pouch. Camp supply stack. Scimitar is four to nine damage. I have four to thirteen damage currently. Um I guess crossbow could be nice to have something ranged if I want it. But yeah, these are all fine. I don't think I need any of this. Maybe good to sell later. Another step forward. A dead thrall. Ooh, a potion of healing. Thank you. We got another imp over here. Did we not? Did I not loot this imp? Oh, hey. I didn't loot all of these? How did that happen? Why doesn't it say empty? It should. This mind flare. Ooh, a void bulb. Yes, please. This imp obviously needs to be looted. I should probably not be picking up all these things. A little restoration there not for us. Another death roll. Hmm, not as good as what I have, but that's okay. I'll take it. Looks like I can crawl up this gross viscous stuff. Ooh, so creepy. Take some gold. Climb up here. Okay, friends, let's go. Hi, friends. All right, let me go ahead and just check on my options again. That the Twitch, ex it said, does say enable Twitch extension connected to Trisha Hirschberger. Uh, it says enable Twitch integration, allowing viewers to see your party view, track your quests, and vote on dialogue options. So that's what it should be. Maybe it needs me to close out of the game and go back in to take effect or something. Oh, it's working now. Okay, great. Hey, go nothing. Oh boy. Oh, there's someone in here. Sacrificed cultists. There's some buttons to push. Let's talk to us. The creature reaches into your mind, its thoughts rattling against yours. Something inside you squirms in recognition. Friend, we will go to the helm now. I want you to stay behind. Why was I forced onto this ship? Something was put in my eye. What was it? Or can you tell me where we are? Let's see if it knows what was put in my eye. A gift. A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful. 
Too powerful. Okay, uh... In a realm where we have fled. We have fled to a realm called Avernus. First of the Nine Hells. We are escaping a great evil. Thank you for the hydrate reminder. <laughs> oh no, indeed. We are going to the helm. My friend and I are going to the helm. Yeah, I heard ya. There's definitely someone still in here. Let me help you. Get me out of this dungeon. Okay. Have no time for stragglers, ma'am. Hmm. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Hmm. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Okay. That contraption? Hmm. I mean, let's go for it. Did that hurt me at all? It didn't. The console appears dormant. Hmm. Okay. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Hit it. Nothing. The console <laughs> remains dormant. <laughs> Okay. Whatever fits in that socket it must power this thing. Something fits in the socket. Hmm. One of those guys. It's going through to the helm. Hmm. Light flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. Sorry, bud. Maybe I'll need more pockets. Brain in a jar. Okay, maybe if I put that in there, it'll free her. Oh, but I'm sorry. There was uh, there were other goodies here. What's hiding here? It's a key. I need thieves' tools to pick a lock, or I could find its key. Uh, All right. Well, let's see if we can time. find a key, baby. Fate Photo, thank you for gifting 10 subs in the channel, Fate Photo. A sub bomb today. Thank you, my friend. Very, very awesome of you. Oh, there's a backpack over here. Maybe it's her backpack. A bloodstone and gold. The console appears dormant. Um, can I use something in my inventory with it? Mm, like this. Maybe not. Damn it. Um, hit it is your version of tech. Yeah, I feel like I have to put that brain thing in there, but it's not giving me the option to do that, at least in this the section. Appears dormant. In the, like, these options. Main console buttons we haven't tried. You're right, you're right. I'm gonna try this one more time with the, the look for a switch or release dormant. to see if it gives me that option then. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Put the thing in the socket. Damn it. I mean I could talk to this dude. The man isn't dead, but he's totally 
totally unresponsive. Sorry, sir. I mean, that looks like it should Bionic open. Energy hers. radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Oh, now we gotta fight these dudes. All right. Well, and that hurt me quite a bit. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, I could go claws. Oh, this little guy. Thank you. And then he has a little bonus action. Let's have him jump over to here. Oh, he got an attack of opportunity, but he looks like he missed. Uh, he could still move a whole bunch. But let's just see. Time to push my luck again. I have an 80% chance to hit there. Let's, well, this guy only has one left. It doesn't make sense to try to lacerate. But what if I try to rush attack? Can I, like, hit him in a certain direction? No. I'm just gonna long sword. <laughs> oh, I missed! Rude! Well, then we're gonna pommel strike. There you go. Uh, Alright, now we've got Frendo over here. Swift and lethal. Mm -hmm. Hamstring shot. How much health does he have? Six. Great. Okay, well that's that. Of course he had nothing on him. But I guess he's not dead yet. He's just knocked out. Well, I'm going to let this little guy take him out the rest of the way so we don't feel so bad about it. I didn't do it. Our little friend did it. It's fine. You cannot use that right now. Okay, so none of those buttons are working. I am gonna heal myself in this little restoration pod. Full party heal. Do I need to, like, throw help? Uh, shove, dip, jump, hide, throw. Okay, let's throw from our inventory the dark mind. Path is interrupted. I want to throw it right there. I don't know if that's right. You could try hitting it. Maybe a bloodstone goes in there. No. Uh, the void orb? No, that's like a, a vacuum grenade, essentially. Console appears dormant. Hmm. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Can I chop my brain friend at it? <clears throat> okay, there has to be something else here. I could break the pod she's in. I don't know if that's gonna... I don't know if that would hurt her, though. Let 
these guys have nothing on them, right? Oh, they do. Can't believe I almost missed that. How dare I? Gold and a mug? Well, I'll take it for right now, but I'll drop it later. That's where I came from. This is probably the helm up here. Do I need to like go in another room to get it? Maybe, let's look at our map. So I came in from here. That's probably the helm. Oh, there's an intellect devourer right here. You I are beautiful. <laughs> uh, like, can I pick that up? Be cursed. What's up there? Another mind flare pod. What's it doing? Can I see how it does it? How many hosts of this gate infected? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. She doesn't notice us. There's a dead thrall up here. Another one of these. Bottle, Eldritch Rune. Maybe it's the Eldritch Rune? It does say part of some bigger machine. Yes, okay, that's what we needed. Another brain. Okay, that must be what we needed then. Um, and I have two of them, I think. So maybe I could free both. Yeah, I have an Eldritch Rune. Oh, no, this is an Elithid Manuscript. I only have one of these. Well, we should probably take it back to the other lady. Uh, since this one's like dazed, but it's cool that they give us the option. Oh, who's that? Another da Oh, the key! The key to the loot. The key to the loot. There's a key for loot in here. Yes. I now have the key. With Onyx. Now maybe it'll let me do it. Let's see. The console appears dormant. Insert the rune into the socket. There it is. The there it is. We found it. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> we didn't make our intelligence super high. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. Okay, let's do it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Dang, straight authority. Will the pod to open. Difficulty class two. Please don't roll a one. Okay, great. All right. Success. Brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. You rolled one for that check, fantastic! No! I mean, playing this comp side dude is really like playing DD, just a video game. Thought I was done for. Shadow Heart.
thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches. Uh huh. She's thoughts. got it too. You feel her gratitude, but also guardedness, and above all, a will to survive. Ah, my head. I'm getting out of here. Follow me if you can keep up. Did you feel that just now? We were in each other's heads, or you'd better get out of here. It's everyone for themselves. Let's see. Follow me if you can keep up. Trust me. I'll keep up. Um, all right then. Let's get going. I'm Belladonna. Or did you feel what I just felt? I've changed my mind. You're on your own. Let's say, all right. Let's get going then. I'm Belladonna. Shadowheart. One moment. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough uh -huh. of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. Yep, you're right. She's you're right. right. Lead on. Okay, you guys said there was a necklace or something under this chest? I don't see anything else under there. Maybe you meant under this one? see a necklace under this one either maybe it's like a perception check thing and my perception's just not high enough all right we're going the helm dazed woman is trapped inside the pod she doesn't notice i mean you. she's bleeding a lot i don't think we can save her it doesn't give us like a side mission to save her either Uh, little bird, which chest? This one in here? I don't see anything here, even when I hit all. So, nothing else. STS says remember to save. Auto saves should be on. Let me see. Combat log, camp and resting menu. Yeah, the auto saves are there, but I'll do a new save. Yeah, there's nothing else here either. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a perception thing. I don't know. Or may oh, I might have picked it up already. Oh, uh, yes. I did pick it up already, but I guess I could put it on. Bright and polished, this necklace was clearly cherished by its previous owner. There we go. But yes, I picked it up already. Okay. Here we go. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Lady. Kenyank. All right, well, we don't need to heal just yet, so let's go. Oh, boy. There's already some fun action going on. Thank you for that pro tip, Baruns. I appreciate it. Okay, so before it crashes. We have to do it before it crashes. 
Um, so why don't we have... That's where it has to go. Yeah, why don't I have this little friendo try to do that? Can he make that happen? I'm not sure. Dash. Yeah, that's as far as he could get. Come so that ends his know. turn. Now let's go with... Oh man, there is so much to loot. <laughs> uh, let's just take him out, right? 65% chance to hit. 85% chance to hit. What does she have? Concussive Smash. Firebolt seems nice. Um, is that a... Oh, that's a cantrip. Okay. Shield of Faith. Guiding Bolt. Level 1 spell. Um. Resistance. I'm like, let's save Guiding Bolt for the big guy. Charm Person. Disguise Self. Blessing of the Trickster. Guidance. Inflict Wounds is a level 1 necromancy spell. Let's do Firebolt Cantrip. Oh, only 60. Let's go for that. And a miss. Are you freaking kidding me? Awful. Um. Bonus action wise. Shield of Faith would be nice. Mm, could have her jump. Now she still has tons of movement, I guess. Got to move. Oh, opportunity attack, silly me. I was just trying to use up all my stuff. Spell slot, level one, cantrips. I guess I have to enter turn even though she has movement left. Okay, end her turn. Woo! See if I can. I can do a ranged attack. 85% chance, 65% chance. Okay, hit for four. Not great, though. Let's do second wind. Palmal, can I palmal strike? No, I have to move before I can palmal, palmal strike. So let's move up to here. I still can't palm strike. I'm not close enough. Well, farts. Uh, let's see. Can I do that on Shadow Heart? I think. No, I can't. Okay, she only does it on herself. All right. Well, end turn. Belladonna's turn. I'm coming up against this thing. I'm gonna do a lacerate. Oh, only 75% chance to hit if I do that. So let's... Oh, it's 75% either way. All right. Uh, saved against the lacerate, but still had a really nice hit. We're going to do a pummel strike to take him out, hopefully. Nice. Okay. Uh, I still have a bunch of movement, so we're going to send Shadowheart over here to take out this lesser imp. That is my buddy. Going there as far as I can. And I think that's everybody. So now Imp goes. Imp. Jerk. Uh, Paul can't go that far. So let's have our friendo go up as far as he can. I'm hoping our friendo can make this happen for us, but we'll see. Stay focused. Okay, friendo's turn is done. Does she have a ranged? I guess this is her ranged. It didn't work last time, but... Nice! Worked that time! Boom! Alright, I'll have you run around this side. Good to go. Hi, JRC Roller! 
Um. You bow, yeah, take it out. Great. My path be true. Okay. The mind flayer is threatened. Commander Zalk is also threatened. I mean, they're keeping each other occupied, so I'm not super worried about that. Another fight. Let's go. Um. Don't waste a step. And I will dash to go even farther. And then end my turn. Okay. Now let's see if our little friend... Oh, he still can't get there. So close, though. If he does a nice little dash, he can. Go, buddy, go. Creature can't ah. activate the transponder. No, that was my whole plan. Well, that stinks. I guess we'll have him jump back into the fray. Oh, JRC Roller, yeah. I love this game in early access, too. Oh, so I'm going to have... I think Shadow Hearts stay here. I'm just going to have them get in position. Uh, this is a level one spell slot, though. I don't love that. Uh, maybe let's do... I guess stay here for the moment. Scroll of Detect Thoughts. I could have her take a potion of healing. Can we get a helm for our brain, dude? Uh, Alright, I'll end her turn here. Yeah, I like them taking each other out. That's good. No time to waste. And let's see. Oh, I've already used this. I have to take a short rest before I can use it again. Womp womp. Could do a small potion of healing here as well, but it feels like a waste. And turn. My fate. Let me give it a dash. Very well. Oh no! Let's go. Hurry before they strike. Yes, I'm hurrying. Did my dash just get taken away from me? Because there's now extra dudes. Ugh. I should have had everybody advance. But now there's extra dudes. Mm. I don't really need to heal myself right now. Dip. Can I? No one's in melee range for me to shove. That's fine. End turn. Oh, but now we have a friend. 70%, 90%, 90%. Let's take out this guy. Or at least. Yeah! Whoop! Good job, bud. Uh, and then I can jump. Well, maybe put himself in the middle. Enter. Alright, I'm gonna have to move these folks forward. On my way. And there it is. That was helpful. Let's go. Okay, they're still battling each other. It's fine. On the move. Have her move up and do a ranged attack. 85-65. Nice. Imp down. Breathing. Here we go. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Lesser Hellbore. Why can't I do it? I want to target this person. It's not letting me do it. Do I not have enough? You've made a grave mistake. 
Whoa! And a miss! A swing and a miss! Must take a short rest before I can pommel strike again. Alright, let's see. Uh... I guess I'll just move back away. He's still gonna come after me. <laughs> okay, we got a claw attack from our little friendo. And... Friendo could jump away. I'm actually gonna bring Friendo back in a good position over here, maybe. Nothing is impossible. Oh, you can only lacerate once per short rest. Thank you, Rangu. Mm. End his turn. Nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep her here, I think. Because, who's up next? Belladonna's, I, want, I wanted Belladonna to do it, but Belladonna's not up for a, well, let's just keep the party together. What was that? Oh, imposter check. Thank you, little bird sparrow. Appreciate you. Okay, Belladonna's there. Adam's alien transponder. You made it in time. Oh no. Belladonna. All right. Woo! It is cool. Yep. With the cinematics that have your character in them, for sure. It's your own little D&D &D adventure. Even if you can't be seen, some criminal acts can be overheard. Hi. That ship's not in good shape. installation you crashed at that exact spot too little bird sparrow okay hold on i'm gonna do that dun 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 uh 
I'm just gonna send it. Get booped. Get booped indeed, my game got booped. Okay. Verify integrity of game files, doing that now. Oh, we got a drop! Everyone should have gotten their drops if you were here since the beginning. Game crashed with the ship to add realism. Totally. Okay, it still says it's validating. You know what? While it's validating, I'm going to go downstairs and check on Little Man. So I'm going to throw up a BRB and I will be right back, friends. So the file uh, integrity verification, because this game is so massive, is taken a real long time, by the way. Uh, that whole break so far, we're only 23% verified. So uh, your drop counter finished after the game crashed, so still making progress. Sure, yeah. How many gigs is this game? Uh, the installation size for me is 125.84 gigabytes. Um, so unfortunately, what I think that means, because I only had a little bit longer to stream anyway, is that this is probably where I'll end the stream for today. As much as I would like to keep streaming uh, and keep playing this, I don't, you know, just want to sit here for the last bit of my stream watching the, f <laughs> the file integrity get verified. Um, interesting that you had a crash at the same spot, though. So I'm going to let this do its thing. Um, and tomorrow, I, uh, I didn't schedule a stream for tomorrow, but if I can squeeze one in in the morning, I will. Uh, so that would be pretty early morning um, Pacific time for those of you who are there. Um, all right. What's my favorite class in d and I don't. I always default to sorcerer, like... Um, yeah, I always default to Sorcerer, but I honestly, I'll play a little bit of everything. I just am making a new character now that we have Session Zero tomorrow night for, it's an off-camera game, uh, that's a paladin. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be 6 a.m. Pacific? No, it's not. I see that you redeem those nerdy goodies, Red Banshee, and I will send you some. All right. It will not be 6 a.m. It will probably be closer to mm, 8.30 or 9 a.m.? Is a good guess. Let me just double check my schedule tomorrow and make sure I'm not saying that at the same time I have a meeting. <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I can probably jump on at like 8.45 or 9 a.m. tomorrow for a little bit. So that may happen. Now I say may because there's always something else that could crop up. But yes, paladins do rule and have a nice time. And I haven't played one in a long time. But yeah, rogue, sorcerer, paladin, and warlock are probably my go-to's. Regular. All right. Um, oh, you role played so many years ago. Well, I'm glad that Baldur's Gate 3 is like bringing the love of role play back for everybody. Also, Larian Studios is amazing and makes amazing games. So check out all of their games. Uh, sorry, Cleric. Uh, Cleric is not one of my go-to classes. Not saying never. Just not one of my go-tos. All right, everyone. Whatever you decide to do with the rest of your day, be awesome. Let's go ahead and find someone else who's playing Baldur's Gate 3 to raid, which should not be hard. <laughs> Everybody's streaming this right now. Um, let's go to uh, 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 Aaliyah Will. Let's go to Aaliyah Will's channel. Oh, she's got some elf ears on and I am here for it. Yeah. Enjoy and get those drops, y'all. All right. I will see you all hopefully tomorrow morning. If not tomorrow morning, definitely on Sunday for the chill stream. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another, and I will see you soon. Bye.